How to Wiz IQ Basic Training. This is lesson 220-220, uploading to class. Okay, so we have upload from your desktop. We looked at that briefly. Let's go ahead and look at that a little bit more. We have the ability to move around on our desktop. You may prepare beforehand. There are some limits, but surprisingly few. I'm not going to go into every type of, of um, item that we can upload and we cannot. You'll practice and you'll learn pretty quickly. You probably already have preferences on how you store documents. Notice once again that when we upload from desktop, it can take a considerable amount of time, especially when you get into big files like large PDFs, large documents, and particularly um, PowerPoint slides. PowerPoint slides tend to have a um, very rich in pictures and it gets to be a big problem. All right. Um, sometimes you can upload documents from your desktop that you cannot des uh, upload from your content library. Like rich text format, which is basically just a doc format, but for some reason your um, WizIQ does not recognize the RTF format, yet it will upload from our desktop. Once again, it does take time. And um, what, what point? Well, I don't know exactly what point I was going to make there. But here we have another one. And let's go ahead and grab something from our content library. Content library, currently, you can put things in folders, not multiple folders. And when you empty a folder, it disappears, then you would have to recreate a folder, but in Content Library, if we click on the plus sign, if you have quite a few, we can pick something, and let's see if we can find something that would have a, where's, and unfortunately it, it doesn't list itself um, alphabetically. But let's see if we have a PowerPoint. That looks like a, is that a PowerPoint? Yeah, I think that's a PowerPoint. Okay, so now we have three basic kinds of files. And that went in pretty fast, as you saw. Okay. <clears throat> I think that that about does it for upload. But notice that it creates its own tab across the top. Also, let's notice now while we're in the tabs that we can change background colors on some things. Let's see what happens with this. And there at the edges is our background. If we're on the whiteboard, the entire whiteboard can change. We can change the colors. We can rename our file, George number one. Um, let's see if we can rename our PDF. We can rename that um, PDF one. OK. And what other choices do we have? Uh, a grid view. Now that would work much better. Let's do it here. Toggle grid view. You see it's on the edges. But on our whiteboard, we can toggle the grid view and get the entire screen. Let's change that back to white. And we, we've got a grid view. I don't know where and when you want to use that, but that would be nice. Also, on the different types of files, we have some additional functionalities. Here, it, we can rotate the picture. We can change the size. And we can flip from page to page. We don't have that here, but here we can, it'll automatically expand into the usable area. All of these are very nice, and we're at the end of this time. I think we'll come back and look at this again. Just a little bit more information about using our um, different uploads.